This is my Lego sorting machine. And in this video, I'll walk you through how it works, the challenges I ran into, and how I designed each module. So, let's get into it. The process starts at the top with the vibration module. The goal here is simple. Take a big pile of Lego and separate it into individual bricks, one by one. I designed this module myself using 3mm multiplex and laser cut it into the exact shapes I needed. The heart of it is a V-shaped tray mounted on springs so it can move freely. For the vibration, I use a 12 volt massage motor, controlled through a relay, connected to a Raspberry Pi. I also added diodes to protect the system from current flowing back when the motor is quickly switched on and off. By stacking two vibration modules, each running at different intervals, I managed to get an even better separation of the bricks before they move into the detection stage. Once the bricks are separated, they fall one by one into the detection module. For the camera, I chose a Global Shutter Raspberry Pi camera. Honestly, it's a bit overkill. I could have just used a regular webcam. But I wanted to make sure I captured enough detail and it integrates really nicely with the Pi. Here's how it works. The camera detects when a brick arrives and immediately stops the feeder. A 3D printed servo arm then swings the brick in front of the camera and lifts it up, leaving just the brick against a clean white background. This small detail massively improved detection accuracy, because the AI senses only the brick. No noise, no distractions. The Raspberry Pi then takes the image and sends it to an external API. That's where the heavy AI processing happens, instead of running it directly on the Pi. The API then responds with the brick's ID, which the machine can then use for sorting. Once the brick is identified, the Pi checks if that brick type already has a bin assigned. The bins are part of a rotating inventory system powered by a stepper motor. Right now, I have 10 buckets, 9 for specific parts, and one overflow bucket for pieces that need to be resorted. When the right bucket is in position, the servo arm pushes the brick into the bin. And that's it, the brick is officially stored. The cycle repeats until every piece finds its place. This is still very much a proof of concept, but it works. Right now, it can handle smaller batches and about 10 different bins. In the future, I'd like to build a sturdier version with a larger inventory, improve detection speed and scale it so it could sort thousands of bricks. That would make it generally useful for Lego resellers like Bricklink stores who spend hours and hours manually sorting Lego. For me, this was just a really fun side project, mixing woodworking, 3D printing, electronics and AI into one machine. If you enjoyed the project, don't forget to drop a like and leave a comment with what you think about this machine. And if you want to see future updates, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.